Hearns Township just marked its 250th anniversary. And since May is Historic Preservation Month, we met up with one group of volunteers committed to saving the past with an eye toward the future. It's filling a gap, filling a need. Because people are already saying that they want to have um, like a harvest dance in the barn. Old buildings can assume new uses. It's an extremely strong structure. These folks are all talking about the same project, but from completely different perspectives. To think that people lived in this building during the Revolutionary War. It's amazing, and I really enjoy doing my hard work here. The Kennedy Martinsdale Farmstead is a group of 18th century buildings that was purchased by Bernard's Township in 1999. Often when municipalities acquire historic sites, they really don't know what to make of uh, the properties they've inherited. And it was very important to the township that these buildings have a use. Using the same structure. In 2004, this group of residents called the Friends of the Kennedy Marsdale yeah. Farmstead took control. And they began restoring these buildings with an eye towards using them for community arts and culture. In this case, we've got uh, an old house which is now a center for visual arts. We have a bar next door, which just by virtue of its sheer volume would become a great place for performing arts. And we have this layering of both the historic resource and contemporary uses, which enrich each other. But perhaps the story here is how two factions of the community could come together and not only begin restoring these buildings, but themselves as well. And I gotta tell you, I feel better about myself today than I ever have in my life because of these people. I was like, well, this is interesting. <laughs> yeah. It is probably one of the unique, most unique organizations that I've ever had the privilege of belonging to because everyone really is committed to the project. And we've been very fortunate that our personalities, you know, seem to get along. Yes. And we have a lot of differences of opinions, um, but we respect each other's views and we get the job done. I don't think um, the work that some of us have done, you could put a price tag on it, but um, it is all volunteer driven. I think that's a success. It's just fun. We just have fun. They are incredibly kind, generous, supportive, and they create a nice hub and home for artists in the town. But each member has their own very personal part of the project that they hold dear. Uh, ability to be with this program from the very beginning and see it when it, its bare bones were exposed, to see the Roman numerals that indicate where the mortise and tenon joints are put together, and, and all the techniques that are used by these qualified, certified historic preservationists to use the same type of materials and the same type of, of uh, construction techniques. It was just a privilege. It just, it, that's something I'll never forget. Um. I think of these buildings as my grandparents, and uh, that probably goes back to my feeling about my own grandparents who nurtured me and sort of gave me perspective on where I came from and where I'm going. I think it's the natural beauty of the site. That's what drives us all, and when you come down the lane, it's like you're leaving the 21st century behind, and it, it's, you know, the 1800s again. It's really nice to be able to just go around the corner and then be at a farmhouse to paint this beautiful barn and grounds, um, catch the nice breeze, be by the river. It's kind of a painter's dream. This place is going to be here for a long time. A lot longer than I'm going to be here, and probably longer than any of us. And it's nice to think that a town that we value highly is going to have something that we helped to, to create. But there is a community, a vital community that's growing right here. And we'd like people to come and view it or, more importantly, to participate in it.